Let's go see a volcano, huh? Uh-uh. You ready? Uh-huh. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Does this look like a guy that doesn't look ready? It's a little bit after 4 a.m. and Shane and I just woke up. Shane is as lively as ever. As he always is. At this time of the morning, he's always as lively. But we're actually going to head up to Kelly Mutu to go see the cool three crater lakes there. We've got about a 20 minute drive to get there. And we're up in the mountains right now. It's pretty dark and cold, so we are bundled up and getting ready for this. I don't know if you guys can hear, but the chickens and the roosters are actually going off right now. And for some reason, they just decided to start going off at 2 a.m. So Shane and I really didn't sleep much, maybe working with an hour of sleep, but we're excited and energized and ready to go. What are you doing? So I'm sure some of you guys are wondering where exactly we are right now. We're in the small town of Moni here in Central Flores, and we're about a 25 minute drive from Kelly Mutu where the Crater Lakes are. But now it's time to drive up to Kelly Mutu and hopefully get a fire sunrise over the Crater Lakes there. But first, let's get this guy up and moving. Yeah, let's go, yeah? Let's go, let's I'm ready. Move. All right. All right, we just arrived, parked up in the spot here at the base of the Kelly Mutu Lakes. Early, a little bit of a sun coming up back behind me. Whoop, whoop, a little bit of Rob coming up behind me. And we're getting after it. I'm the light guy today. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> studio lighting. I'm the light guy. I got it looks new, good, it looks good. I got a new role, I'm the light guy. Let's get after it. We had a sick drive up here. I'm telling, I can feel that like, when we go back down and it's lit up, it's gonna be amazing. We are whining back and forth up this mountainside. Starting to get a little peek of everything. Yeah, yeah. Just a little sampler, a little tease. Pulling up on it now, I think. Whoo! It's still dark, here we go. The sunrise is going. Oh, baby! Oh! Sick! Looks like we made some pretty good timing. We're here right as the sun's coming over the crest of that mountain. And it's just rising right on top of this beautiful blue lake. Look at this, there's one right there. Then one over there in that little pocket. Whoo! Little pocket. It's so blue. So blue. And you got that fiery orange sky out behind it. Oh man. So there's actually three crater lakes up here. We just looked at the first two, but it looks like there's a big overlook up there on the distance. And we are walking up there to get a better view for sunrise. Out to the third lake. It's pretty small. All the way down there. Pretty dark in color. True colors haven't been revealed yet. <laughs> Not yet, once the sun comes up, yeah. I think it's green. And the other ones are back there. Monyed, or monkeys right on time. The monkeys actually usually visit wherever the tourist spots are, pretty much in anywhere in Indonesia because they know the tourists are there. They can steal their food, go grab any shiny stuff they have. Those lakes look crazy, man. I can't wait for the sun to come up. Okay guys, so we waited for a little bit and so the sun came a little higher in the sky and really lit up and exposed the lakes here. They're looking crazy, the neon turquoise color. And now we want to talk about the history of this place and some of the science that exists behind it. The lakes here at Kelimutu hold a great spiritual significance in the local communities. They believe that these three lakes are where souls come to rest. These lakes have some crazy names. The one directly behind me that you see here is Tiwu Nuwa Muri Kufai. This is where it is said that young souls come to rest. People that are unmarried, with no family of their own, that have not yet completed their journey through life. The lake just next to it, which can sometimes turn red, is Tiwu Ata Polo. It is believed that the souls of the beloved damned rest in this lake. The dark green lake here, tucked away by itself, is Tiwu Ata Mbupu. This lake is where the souls of parents and the elderly come to rest. 
Now the lakes here actually change colors and can vary depending on what time of the year you visit. They believe that the colors change due to the minerals that are in the lake that are triggered by the volcanic gas activity. But sometimes the lakes here behind me could have a red or hue color or other times they could be a dark blue. Right now you can see they're kind of green, almost turquoise. Although there is scientific basis as to why the lakes change color, many locals still believe that it symbolizes the current state of Indonesia. If the lake is red, it shows turmoil throughout the nation. If the lakes are green or this beautiful light blue turquoise, it shows peace and serenity throughout the country. When the lakes actually do change colors, the locals come to give offerings to the deceased in the form of food and alcohol, something that we all love. Now just to give you some general info about this location, it is pretty commercialized. It's actually a national park. Shane and I paid 150,000 rupiah for entry, which is around 10 US dollars. Uh, if you're a local uh, resident in Indonesia, you're only gonna pay 7,000 rupiah, so we're talking around 50 cents. But you can see here, there's really a lot of infrastructure in this place. There's a path leading with stairs that wraps around the entire rim here. We're actually gonna go down to that path down there that looks over the crater lakes, and then it comes up here all the way to this overlook. And there's Shane hanging out. Gonna walk down these stairs here. I'm gonna walk out to the crater rim to that point right there. Shane and I are on one hour of sleep. One hour. Maybe an hour and a half. Ooh. It's currently almost noon. We've been here since five, but we're jamming, baby. We're jamming. We're jamming. We're vibing. We're vibing. We're riding. We're riding. Everyone left. We trekked down a little bit off the trail. We're in this crazy crater. Crazy. All right, guys, that's going to finish up our time here at Kelly Mutu, and we've actually reached the end point of our road trip. If you've been following along, we left Bali and we've been driving our motorbikes across multiple islands in Indonesia, including Lombok, Sumbawa, and here in Flores. We've actually driven a total distance of 1,164 kilometers direct from Bali to here. We've had an unbelievable time. We may hit a few stops on the way back, so stay tuned for those videos. But if you want to see some cool, raw travel experiences and some great stops in Indonesia, Indonesia, go check out all those videos we previously posted. Have a good one. Bye. Red, green, black, blue, white. It's amazing. It's insane. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Rob can't believe it. We're believing it. We're here. We're living proof.